Hello. Good evening. How are you? Hi, Jenny. How are you doing? Uh, your microphone. Something is wrong with it. Hey, hello, Jenny. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm resting in my house. Okay, good. Now, ready for the last two days of classes. Yes. Yes, I'm ready. Did you finish the other course? No, um, no. I'm finished Friday. Oh, this Friday. So you have like yes. one, one week, let's say, with this one. Okay. Yes. Yeah, today I I have a, a little quiz. <laughs> quiz, okay. <laughs> and then in the how long does it take? One month, two months? And one month, big, but uh, in this course, I have quiz uh, every week. Every week, okay. If you don't pass one quiz, you repeat. It's about it's about a uh, calling uh, about um Spotify service. Okay, good. Nice. So this is bad. the last week. Uh -huh. The last week, I I learned to, to how can I say a book book reserve flight. Ah, uh -huh. how book booking booking flights. Booking flights, booking ah, flights. Okay, good. That's also this like, is there is very interesting. Yes, it's like also similar to English for tourism. Uh -huh. Yes, similar to that, you have to book. And book fly and book, uh, hotel 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 yes uh, yes resort resorts places resorts. Uh -huh. places at and the beach today uh, the topic is about the um, service online like um Spotify some ah really this. yes like. Uh, for the platforms. Platforms, yes. Okay. I, can... I will be a customer service teacher. Wow, good. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, so whenever I call, I call and say, Jenny, is that you? <laughs> it's yes. me. It's me, the teacher, Luis. <laughs> okay. For calling to, to Spotify, this is Jenny. How can I help you today? <laughs> oh, wow. That's good. Okay, good practice. <laughs> Now you see you you see you're learning. Yes, yes. That's nice. Thank okay, you, Jenny. Con congratulations. Good. Okay, Thanks. fine. Right, good. Now, hey Jorge, how are you doing? Good evening, teacher. How was the weekend? Very nice. Okay. My weekend was very nice. Good, good. So you rested. Yes, I rested and I meeting with my family. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's very, very relaxing to do. Okay, hello, Oscar. Hey, hello, teacher. How are you doing? I'm fine. How about you? Oh, great. Just uh, uh, great, uh, but also at the same time, a little bit uh, worry because one more year is about to, to end. Oh. Right, and then we have a expectations now for the new uh 2024 the next year coming so i guess it's how about it's going to be great right this year's been great too i can't complain about it so i guess that the next year is going to be quite similar but you know we will have to work a lot that's for sure okay, okay. you know that uh one one of the one of the phrase that uh, i like uh, from uh, listening to the video, 
was that uh, I learned a new way to say that we're getting older. You know, uh -huh. at the time, at the time uh, passes uh, by. Goes by. Uh -huh. So we, uh, is that correct to say that we're getting of age? Yes, actually. We're getting of age. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm getting of age. It means that, yes, your age is, is coming to, to a certain point, right? Yeah, usual. Uh -huh. And, and yeah. another question, for example, how do you say when, when, for example, someone asks you something that you don't know, and then you said, oh, you got me by surprise. I don't have the answer right now. For yeah. example, this is, do you have an idiom for that? You know that, what, what we say here in Spanish, okay? Oh, you got me in, in a court, something like that. Do yeah. you have an idiom for that? Uh, let me see. Uh... For example, something that if we are, if the, it depends on the question because if you say, uh, "Hey, do you know of any English teachers?" Then I could probably say, "Not of hand." Not of hand is something like, "Yeah, not here at uh, right now here or in my in my mind." Right? It could uh -huh. be one, uh, and the other one could be probably, uh, "No, I didn't know that." It's just, uh, you know, no. I don't. Uh, I mean, it, I think it would depend on the kind of a question that you get that could be a, an answer yeah oh. okay. but there, there, there must be one for sure you know oh okay let me okay. we can probably think of one okay, okay good let me see who else is here now we have uh oh, francisco hello francisco how are you doing hi teacher good evening how's everything Fine. Yes. Okay. Fine. Very great. And you? All right. No <clears throat> bad. No bad. Everything is just great. Who else we have here? Julio. Julio Cesar. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? I'm good, teacher. Okay. I'm, nice. I'm anxious to to spend the next the next vacation. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, so very pretty close. Yeah, just uh, well, 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 it depends. In my case, I start my vacation on Saturday at noon. Okay. Uh, oh. How about you? Uh, until uh, December 22nd. Okay. Do you have one more week? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but it's pretty close. Okay, yeah, uh, it's like, and you come back? Uh, January 3rd, the 3rd. Yeah, 3rd. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. pretty, pretty close for the New Year's Eve. Yeah. Okay, nice. So who else we have? Hello, Silvana. Hello, teacher. Hello, everybody. How are you? Good, good, good. Eagerly waiting for the day. Nice. So, Marlene, just check in. Carla. Hello, Carla. Hello, Melissa. Hello, teacher. Oh, Carla, Selena. Hi. Hi. How was the party on 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 the weekend? Uh, I... no, pa no party. You didn't have the party picture? Oh, okay. No. <laughs> okay, good. So, but you had a, a good time during the weekend? Yes, with my family. Yeah, good. That's nice. Very, Thank very good. You. Okay. And hey, Giovanni. Hello. You're back. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Now I can hear you. Pretty, pretty well. <laughs> okay, good. Good to see you back. Oh, uh, thank you so much. I'm so glad to see you too, guys. Okay, perfect. Good. And who else is here? Joselino has just arrived. Hi, Joselino. How was the weekend? Pretty good.
Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi, Fry. Okay, great. A lot of work? Yes, a lot okay. of work. Okay. But you are in your house now? Or still at work? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, good. Well, we're going to... Uh, Actually, this is the end of uh, section five. Remember, we were reading about uh, plagiarism, right? How serious is plagiarism? We read, we discussed, and there were some probably good ideas, you know, that you were shooting about this topic. You now, because there is still a lot to learn uh, about this topic, right? Because it, it is very serious. It is something that, you know, it's, Happens all, happens all the time at all levels, right? And then uh, I think it's something that we have to really pay uh, close attention to, right? Okay, now we're going to check. No, kind of, we're gonna have a kind of review with the, with the final exam, right? Uh, is anybody else missing the, any section of the of the platform? No? Question about section, I don't know, maybe three, four, because I guess that one and two is already it's already done. I know that some of you already finished. Okay, so then I would like to know if there are any other questions about the other sections, like three, four. <clears throat> uh, Section two. Yeah, section four. The topics we had were the passive voice. Then we had The defining and non-defining uh, the closest, relative closes, and then the reading, right? That we have been checking uh, in the last sections. And just to remind you that section five was the one that we had just finished. Kind of a slow, okay. In this case, we have a opinions with ought to, recommendation opinion with ought to, should, have, got, and must, right? Remember that uh, we're talking about this, which one was a suggestion and which was a necessity. And then we also had tag questions. Okay, and that questions for opinion, the intonation that we had last Friday, and always the reading. So remember, if you have questions, I can go back on the problem. Just let me know. Now, in this listening, remember I gave you some tips, right? For example, the first tip is to listen to to listen to the to the audio without looking at the questions, without just listen to it, so that your ear and brain gets used to the topic and the pronunciation, right? And then the second time you read the questions, then you can take a, a listen again, then you answer the questions. And a third time would be just to double check to confirm the uh, the answers that you have uh, given, you know, to contrast them with the audio. Okay, this topic, it's about three. Hey, Erica, I hear you're studying filmmaking. Yeah, it's what I've always wanted to do. So what has to happen to make a movie? 
first, the director divides the script into scenes. <laughs> Why is that? Well, the scenes may not be shot in the order they appear in the script. Different scenes may have to be done at different locations or at certain times, you know? So the director is someone who is very organized. Absolutely. Anyway, many different shots are taken, and the director chooses the best takes. So how is the final version made? Well, the tapes are put together by the director and the editor. Then music, sound effects, and any computer graphics are added. And there's your movie. Cool. Cheryl, these are great photos. What's your secret? Well, I studied photography in school. After that, I was a photojournalist at a magazine for three years. But look at these landscape shots. Is landscape photography something that requires special skills? Yes. Pictures of landscapes have to be taken with great care. You need to make sure that as much of your scene as possible is in focus. What about weather? Well, most people think the best pictures are taken on a sunny day. That isn't always true. An overcast rainy day or a snowy day could offer you better opportunities to take interesting pictures. Taking a picture in bad weather requires a bit of a risk, I imagine. But the results are worth it. These are really incredible, Cheryl. <clears throat> in this kind of listening, there is an advantage. The advantage is that the, the audios are recorded by, you know, people who, well, in studios, of course, and also they have, a, let's say, a, like, actors you know that they know how to how to intonate okay each sentence and that helps a lot for the for the listening and the understanding okay so here we have uh the final version of a movie then these are the possible answers it says cheryl cheryl has a good landscape photographer and has to understand then there is another part Okay, that we're going to. I know that some of you already have the answers, but now we can listen to it again. But three. This time we can Thank be you. reading the questions. You studying filmmaking. Yeah, it's what I've always wanted to do. So, what has to happen to make a movie? First, the director divides the script into scenes. Oh, why is that? Well, the scenes may not be shot in the order they appear in the script. Different scenes may have to be done at different locations or at certain times, you know? So the director is someone who is very organized. Absolutely. Anyway, many different shots are taken, and the director chooses the best takes. So how is the final version made? Well, the takes are put together by the director and the editor. Then music, sound effects, and any computer graphics are added. And there's your movie. Cool. Cheryl, these are great photos. What's your secret? Well, I studied photography in school. After that, I was a photojournalist at a magazine for three years. But look at these landscape shots. Is landscape photography something that requires special skills? Yes. Pictures of landscapes have to be taken with great care. You need to make sure that as much of your scene as possible is in focus. What about weather? Well, most people think the best pictures are taken on a sunny day, but that isn't always true. An overcast rainy day or a snowy day could offer you better opportunities to take interesting pictures. Taking a picture in bad weather requires a bit of a risk, I imagine. But the results are worth it. These are really incredible, Cheryl. Okay. So what do we have in the number three, the final version of a movie? What is it? What does it take? It's in, uh, it's in an order, doesn't have sound effects, or is put together by the editor and the director. Which one would you choose? 
is put together by the editor and director. Okay, yeah. So they choose the topics, right? And Cheryl has a good landscape photographer. As I, uh, Cheryl says, a good landscape photographer has to understand journalism. No, right? So we can use the elimination process. How weather can affect a photo? Mm, could be. And how to make a landscape look in focus. Which one of the two sounds better? How weather can affect the, the second one, teacher. The second, right? Okay. Yeah, because of the light. One. Hey, Ray, that was quite a party last night. Yeah, it was fun. I'm still cleaning up, though. What are you doing with all the bottles and cans? I'll take the cans to the recycling center and throw away the bottles. Oh, no. You should take the bottles, too. Nah, I don't get any money for recycling glass. No, but I think everyone should be required to recycle glass anyway. It's a waste to throw it away. Yeah, but recycling centers should be required to pay people who return cans and bottles. Then they won't throw them away. Two. Hey, Danielle. I saw you biking to work yesterday. Oh, yeah. When my car died, I decided to buy a bike. I figured I could do something about the traffic downtown and get some exercise at the same time. But... There are very few bike lanes, aren't there? And in any case, cars use them. I know. Drivers who do that should be fine. A hundred dollars at least. It's so dangerous. Cyclists don't always behave so well either. I've seen them ride side by side and not allow cars to pass. Yeah, and I've seen cyclists without helmets too. Yeah, cyclists should be required to wear helmets. And if they don't, they should be fined a hundred dollars. Okay, so Ray doesn't recycle glass because A, B, or C. He doesn't get any money. He doesn't get any money. Yeah. Well, it's working. Danielle, Danielle bought a bike because she wants to reduce traffic, had to pay a fine, rides by side, side by side. Wants to, to reduce, reduce traffic. traffic. Yeah. I don't think it's going to make it, but but if she thinks so, okay. So, Remember next time, every time that you need to, to do a listening, right? When it's the first time that you listen to, that's a good strategy. In the exams, in English exams, they usually, uh, the standard ones, right? No, the, uh, let's say the academy test, they always give you one, two, maybe three chances to, to listen to a topic. In other cases or in other kinds or type of tests, they only give you one chance, right? But this is more uh, advanced. Okay, now the next one is the reading. Okay, this is animated movie. Read the article, then check the correct answers. Now, uh, let me see. Uh... Hey. Yeah, Julio, go ahead. Please read the first paragraph. Okay, uh, animated mo movies aren't just for kids anymore. Some of the most popular movies at, at two, uh, 2010 were Toy Star Trek. How to Train Your your, your Dragon and Despicable Me. In fact, 
Pixar's Toy Story 3 became the highest grossing animated movies ever made. Animated movies are fast becoming an important force in the movie industry. Okay, and making a lot of money too. Yeah. Okay, good. Now, questions about the vocabulary in that paragraph? Anybody? What does this speak about mean? Oh, this is the, the movie with this guy. So, you know, it's something like a bad guy, right? He was, uh, a, what was the name of this man? A, oh, I forgot. Well, the idea is that the man is like the, like, you know, like the, like, like the Grinch, right? Of a place that nobody wants. So somebody that nobody likes. So that's what they call uh, the speakable me. Then, but it's no with the word me, right? It's only, only the word the speakable. Grossing. Which one? Grossing. Most word toy. The highest grossing animated. Grossing. Ah, okay. Grossing animated is like, for example, that it has been something that is the most, the highest will be like the most, right? For example, the maybe seen or something like that, like kind of popularity, okay, ever made. That's why it's called, for example, the crossing ever made. Okay. What else? I don't remember this one, How to Train Your Drown. Do you, who remembers that movie? Anybody? Yes, I remember. What, what is it like? Or what is Woody, it about? Woody, the principal person. Uh-huh. No, but this is Toy Story. But I, I mean, in the movie, the How to Train Your Dragon, that's the one I don't uh, remember. I don't know if... Uh, I know it's for children, but no, uh, no, there's not an image of that. Okay, anyways, now let's read the second paragraph. Who wants to to read? Any volunteers? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Francisco. Making animated movies can take much longer than making a traditional movie. This is partly because approximately seven hours are needed to render one single frame of an animated movie. In fact, some frames can take up to 39 hours to render. Toy Story 3 took 1,084 days or nearly three years to make. Okay. It's 1,884 days. That's uh, almost three years, right? Uh, nearly three years. Okay. So it takes yes. a long time. Almost. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so that, that's why these movies are expensive. Okay, because they invest a lot of money and time and technology as well. Okay, good. Now, who wants to read the third one? Me, teacher. Okay, Carla, go ahead. 
Most animated movies have big name stars attached to them to voice the characters. Tom Hanks voiced the character of Goody in the Toy Story movie, while Angelina Jolie was cast as the voice of tigers in Kung Fu Panda. Using famous actors to voice animated characters is, I can see teacher. Oh, there's some more. Okay, here. The story movies, what? Uh huh. It's meant. Animated characters. It's meant. And I don't. Men, it's men meant to. Camp adults into. Going to. Going to. Animated movies with their um, children. Okay. It's too big or too. Who do you Can, you see Can you see now? A little bit. Because I'm making it smaller. Hmm. Too smaller. Too small now? No, I can't. Is it going into animated movies with their children? I can. A studio executives know bigger the that the bigger the name, more likely adults will yeah. tag but with the kids. Uh, will tag along with their kids. Okay, here in this uh in this reading, you can see there are a couple of uh, a let's say uh expressions. Like here, when say most animated movies have big name stars. Okay, big name or stars are attached to them to voice the characters. Remember, some of them in Spanish are Eugenio Derbez. A, I don't know, maybe who is the other person who. Well, those famous people. Jim right? Carrey, for example. Who? Oh, Jim, Jim Carrey. Carrey. Jim Carrey in English, yes. Jim yeah. Carrey and like that, right? So then they, that's why it says big name, big name stars attached to the voice. So then behind the voice of each uh, animated character, then you will have, for example, a famous person, uh, uh, let's say, dubbing their voice. Here, Tom Hanks voiced the character of Woody in the Toy Story movies. Angelina Jolie was cast as the voice of uh, Tyrus in Kung Fu Panda. Okay, then here it says using famous actors to voice animated characters is meant to tempt. So that's what they want, right? Because when that's part of the marketing, when they hear that a uh, in the animated movie, the voice that you're gonna hear there is Shakira's voice, or in other best, a uh, Mar Mariah Carey or Jim Carey as well. So then, uh, people get this is the temptation for the adults into going to animated movies with their children. The studio executives know that the bigger the name, the more likely adults will tag. Will tag means that will go with their kids. Remember the tag questions? When you go to the store and you buy new clothes, there is a tag. There is a piece of uh, paper with the price of the, of the uh, piece of garment that you want to buy. So that is tag. So then the children will be attached to the father, right? Or the children will be attached to the family mother and father. So that is the also with the uh, superheroes, right? When there is a movie about a Spider-Man, uh, you know, about uh, Captain America. So the, the movie industry expects to see the family, parents and children, because they touch the feeling of the parents. Okay, to further emphasize the impact, who wants to read that one, the last part? Anybody? 
Me, teacher. Okay, George, go ahead. To further emphasize. To further emphasize the impact animated movies have had on the movie industry, the Academy of Motion Picture Art and Science began a GV Out Academy Awards for the best animated feature in 2001, the prestige of the wins. Winning such an import award result in the more ticket sell for movie theater and the more profit for the animated movie makers. Okay, good. Here probably have had on the movie industry, the academy, there are no big expressions, prestige, winning. No, okay. Okay, good. Alex answered these four questions. Okay, a good title for the article will be Animated movies are just for kids. Animated movies result in ticket sales and awards. Or big name movies, star movie stars, movie stars, no movie stars. A boy animated movies. A, B, or C. B teacher. Option B teacher. Option B. Animated movies results in ticket sales and awards. Yes. Render. Para two means translate from row to final form. Bring a fact to your mind that you knew before or have an opinion. Translate from row for the final form. Okay. But that is only form, right? Yes, teacher. Okay. And cast means be clearly choose actor for parts, throw something into the air. Choose actor for should be. Yeah, choose actors for parts. Yeah. Okay, the cast is the group of actors or actresses. Animated movies have had positive, 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 a positive effect, effect on the movie industry. For the, uh -huh, yes, on the movie industry, right? So they have been benefited with this. Okay. So this is the effect is positive on the movie industry because many people go and see it. The casting, remember, you have to do the casting and try if you can do something. This is translate from row to final. This is uh, what architects do, right? They have an idea and then they put the idea into something physical, but not constructed, right? It's only the, the map. And the last one is a good title for the article would be animated movies result in a lot of money, right? In sales and awards. They know how to touch people's feelings. I recommend you to read uh, stories, articles, similar to this one, because they are, uh, they have, or they contain general English, not to, not a, technical one, right? Obviously, if you have your profession, your career, if you're a lawyer, it's good. If you read uh, material about laws, if you're a doctor, it's good. If you read material about doctors, if you are uh, maybe an engineer, read material about engineering, 
but it's this kind of article if you see is general knowledge general culture okay and with these topics you can talk to anybody okay then uh so if you can find articles in, in google for example write about the articles about inventions you know that many inventions were uh, by accident then it's there are very short interesting stories that you can find and it's good for reading okay and practice and learn vocabulary now here write the words hey joselino could you please read the instructions here okay instructions anita accidental the, the lady the little an important fire so her boss wasn't prepared for an important meeting read the sentence and choose from the words below the one the best defines in it defines it just type in the word no capital later or period in this as in necessary yes okay good so we have the words are this one okay criticism right criticism criticism okay this is the first one excuse prediction prediction suggestion warning and reaction okay these are the six words pronunciation criticism excuse prediction suggestion warning and reaction now you should keep track of your computer file. Criticism, excuse, prediction, suggestion, warning, or reaction. Suggestion, teacher. The suggestion, right? You should do this. Suggestion. How oh, about it's not capital letters, right? Suggestion. If you do it again, you lose your job. It's a warning. That's a warning, okay? You do this, or there will be consequences. Three. Criticism, please. You're so irresponsible. You lose everything. Okay, you are free. Criticism. Okay, criticism. Four. Excuse. Excuse. It wasn't my, your fault. Someone else deleted the file. Excuse, excuse, excuse. You'll probably find the file in the trash on your computer. Prediction. That a prediction. prediction now complete the paragraph use the passive or the verb given just type in the verb to prepare for a tv talk show research has to be done be done this is the passive voice mm -hmm. using the verb to be and the past participle of the verb. Next, the selected people must be ranked. Be uh -huh, ranked. Okay, be ranked. We use now this, this word in Spanish very frequently. 
for example, say, está rankeado, ser rankeado, right? Uh, then this is, for example, that's the, the way that we use in the ranking. Okay. Now more, is, that's something like using uh, an anglicism in Spanish. The top choices. Are contacted. Are. Yes. Uh -huh, are contacted. Always the verb to be are. And if some of, some of them are avail unavailable, the next people on the list. Are invited. Are invited. Are invited. invited. Or invited. Okay, and there you have the passive place and vocabulary. Remember, something has to, bo to be done is like a, a strong demand, a strong necessity, right? Okay, the last one. Join the sentences. Instruction, join the sentences with who or what or that. Make any changes where needed. Example, TV sitcoms feature actors. They are recognized by viewers around the world. TV sitcoms feature actors who are recognized by viewers around the world. A newspaper clerk has to do a lot of research. He or she is often new to journalism. A newspaper clerk who is often new to journalism has to do a lot of research. Okay, first read the paragraph again individually to just to check vocabulary. And who is in the chat? Okay, no problem. Teacher. Yes. A gaffer who works on a movie or TV crew was crew has to carry out the lighting design. Okay. Yep. The only thing is that just for me, I think uh well we will have to write. Okay, these are all the possible answers. Okay, a gaffer who works on a movie, yes. Or TV crew has to carry then uh carry out the lightning. The gaffer is usually, you know, like like an old man, right? Who is probably electrician who has a lot of uh knowledge about that. And that's why they said a gaffer who works on a movie with the crew has to carry out the lightning design. Okay, so that's what they usually do. It's like the chief in electricians, right? The man who knows more than anybody else. Okay, what is the next one? Oh, don't forget the commas. Okay. Because it's just like the extra information. Dialogue editors are sound technicians. They specialize in editing film scripts. Sara, have the answer? Giovanni?
Me teacher. Yes, Hector. Diálogo de teachers who specialize in a written field script. Eh, comma, our own technicians. Our sound. Okay. Our sound, sorry. Dial editors. Our sound technician that specialize in editing films. Uh, just dial editors. Our sound technicians that specialize in film scripts. Yes, just the last part goes together, right? Like in this one. Dialogue editors are sound technicians that specialize in editing films and we omit the pronoun they. Okay, good. Thank you, Hector. Who has number three? Hey, teacher. Okay, wait. Uh huh. Julio, a uh, proper, yes. uh, property master is responsible for buying props that are uh, that are handled by the actors. Okay. Yeah, a property master is responsible for buying props that are handled by the actors. Okay, the actors are the ones in charge of using them. Yes. Remember that all the props are the fake things that we see in movies. The okay. guns, the pistols, the knives, the blood. Uh, when they destroy a wall, it's a prop. They say that the glass of the windows, they made it out of sugar. Okay, so then, so everything like that is a prop. Okay, critics write film reviews they sometimes see more than 10 new movies a week. Hey, teacher. Yes, go ahead. Critics mm -hmm. sometimes see more than 10 new movies a week, comma, write film reviews. That could be a good one. Critics who sometimes see more than 10 movies a week write film reviews. Okay. Okay, that's number five. Thank you, Carla. Catherine, Luis. Francisco. Me, teacher. Yeah. Executive. Number five. Mm -hmm. Executive producers are involved in shooting a film. They are responsible for the budget. For the budget. The answer is uh, the order executive producer, comma, who, who are responsible for, for the budget comma, are involved in shooting a film. Uh, from some point of view, uh, that could be the one, right? Executive producers who are responsible for the budget, most of the times are not involved in shooting a film. Because that's why they are only executive. Uh -huh. Okay, well, if I shoot it, it would be only one correct answer because it's the one that I copy and paste. Okay, people, now, uh, think about a movie that you have recently or probably not so recently watched, but you can see there is one of the best movies that you have ever seen. Okay, which movie will you choose and why? For example, I tell you, I tell you mine. In my case, one of the best movies I have ever watched is uh, Jim Carrey's movie, The Mask. 
I don't know if you have seen that movie, but it's the the it's great yeah. uh, with a uh, Cameron Diaz. Yeah. 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 And uh, yes, Julio, no Oscar. This you said the mask. I mean, it, it would be for the effects. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yes, the mask. You know the special effects. Uh -huh. There is a a scene where they mix animated uh, characters. We know with the real ones, right? So then, also the the choreography, the choreography in that movie is uh, excellent because there is a moment that he is, the police is chasing him and, just, uh, and then uh, he gets so uh, funny and then he started dancing in the street and then all the police all, uh, police officers are dancing. No, the, the choreography in that moment also is very, very uh, nice in the movie. So I guess that's why, you know, I, for, for me, it's one of the best movies. Now, there are many right, that I like uh, because I like action movies. But in this case, this one was probably, you know, one of the best. Also, uh -huh. taking into account that it was filmed in 1994, you know, uh -huh. it was a long time ago. So for that time, it was uh, ahead ahead of its time for the uh, special effects. Correct. So, you know, everything. Uh -huh. But you know, but that is something curious. Did you ever, probably some of you maybe not because you are very young, I guess. But I don't know if you ever watched a TV program from the 60s, 70s. Yeah, 60s, 70s. That name was Bewitched. It was about a, Bewitched. It was, a, it was about a, a lady who, who was a witch. But she comes to, she comes from the world of witches to to our to our planet and then uh she looks it's a beautiful woman she looks like a you know like a human one normal but she has you know this power that she only moves her nose and then she can do whatever she wants right she wants to turn a man into a panther she can do it but you know she only moves her her nose and she could do it very funny but the effects in those uh a that's where it was a TV series. It was in every episode. They were great. Uh, in, I think about 20 years ago, there was a movie. There was a movie with um, about, this, about this program, but the special effects were really a fiasco. You know, they were really bad, terrible. And then, like you said, right, that movie was in the 60s, 70s, and there were very uh, uh, nice effects. And and now it's you know probably you say well, how can this be if now that we have more tools to have better special effects they are not doing so the name was be which if I remember which picture okay that's the name. Really Find it, try to, later you can see the movie in YouTube or or the program and you will see the difference. Yes, Oscar. So, no, I think that, uh, someone else wanted to say something. Okay. Go ahead, Padme. Who wanted to say something? Giovanni, no. Or... Teacher. Actor, uh -huh. For me, I... I am watching a series mm -hmm. uh, called C. This series is very wonderful because there are many suspense in the in the scene, and there are a lot of effects in the series, mm -hmm. and it's very good. I recommend you. What is it? What see. is what is it about? C. C like the ocean. Yeah. No, see, see the, yeah, the when you see, uh huh. Yeah, and yeah. They see. look. Ah, okay. Yeah. Where, and where can you where can we watch it? Netflix. Yeah, is I don't remember, but you can reach it in the YouTube. Okay. The trailer. Ah, okay, okay. There's... So I will see it. 
Good. There is the, the trailer to show. Nice. Thank you. Okay. What is another movie that you like? Well, think about first, you know, the the genre of music, of music or uh, movies. What kind of movie do you like? If it is action, drama, romance, uh, historical movies, uh, animated movies, uh, what else could it be? Uh, action, musicals. There are some musicals. Um, probably mystery, horror, and I don't know if there is another type. Adventures, okay, like adventure movies. So all these kind of movies, which is the one that you like? There might be more than one. You know, I like uh, cowboy movies also, right? Like Western, Westerns. Uh, probably there are some of movies, you know, to kind of to motivate, uh huh, motivate they, all. They yes, like, sir. like Crocodile Dundee. Uh huh. That's like an adventure they, movie. They like that, huh? An adventure <laughs> yes. movie. Uh, in 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 Australia, in the Australian jungle. Uh huh. That was you know, so nice. I think that the synopsis it was so nice because I mean. The man is supposed to be a a a man from the from the countryside, so he knows everything about you know the bad habits and customs and you know it's it's like a, he's good at everything mm -hmm. <laughs> and and impress the 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 girl from the that city finally uh, ended uh, um, in love with him. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> yes. I think, like you said, for that, for the time, it was what, 90s maybe, right? Or late 80s, I guess. Crocodile Dundee, it was, it was like Indiana Jones. It was like the beginnings of Indiana Jones, right? And after that, I think, you know, Indiana Jones began with, with the movies too. And that was, I mean, it's been entertaining, right? Entertaining movies, especially for the family, okay? There are some uh, types of movies that, for example, this one. Have you heard this word? Whole sum. That is in the chat, people. Whole sum movies. Okay. A wholesome movie is a movie that if it has the, let's say, the category of wholesome movie, you, you, you may be sure that that movie, you can watch it from the beginning to the end with your daughter, with your son next to you, okay? Because it's a movie for the family. Because there are some movies that they said, okay, that sometimes it's, oh, it's a movie for the family, but sometimes there are some parts of the movie that, you know, they are not quite adequate for children, right? And then, but in this wholesome movies, yes, right? These movies are, you know, adequate for that and then you can be feel as sure that you're going to enjoy the movie you don't have to be pending if something going to happen and then with the kids oh close your eyes stop don't see this and then, okay so that's a that's a very interesting part you know to categorize movies so tomorrow we're going to have uh, a well i want to bring you another topic sure. yes sir uh, yeah, Francis. Only, only a mention. For uh -huh. example, uh, uh, it's the case the Toy Story. Uh, it was the the first movie created uh, all all the computers. Mm -hmm. That was the first movie. Pixar, right? It, it, it was created uh, with computer. Uh huh. All the all the movie. Yes. You know who who was behind behind that. Steve Jobs. Right? Steve Jobs. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Steve Jobs, yeah. you know, that that man was a was a genius. He was yes. a he was a genius. Uh, I think iPhone would be completely different now if he were still alive. Right? Because I don't think they would have people, you know, to to do what he did. I mean they're good at, at Apple now, but when he was, he was very creative. 
Okay, I, I, ad I admire the work he did. Technology, he was really good. Everything he touched became gold in, in technology. You know, he started with Apple, and then, you know, he created a lot of things. The guy from Google, the, Google didn't exist. I mean, as it is now, maybe in the 90s. But uh, Steve Jobs told the guy from Google, okay, listen, if you want to survive in this world, in this market, with Google, you have to work on the apps. And the guy started working apps and apps in Google. And look, Google now, I think is if it is not number one, it is one of the best uh, companies in that industry of technology. Okay. And Steve Jobs only told him, okay, do this. The other guy did it. But, not, but if he had done it, he had a lot of brilliant ideas. Okay, guys, I have to stop here because I have the other class. So I'll see you tomorrow in the last class. Please don't miss it. And we're going to have a, a, I'm going to bring some extra topic. We're going to talk about movies and music. Okay, be prepared for music and movies. And uh, we're going to uh, have another game tomorrow with quizzes. Okay, bye bye. Have a good night. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.